All right, guys, I want to show you a quick video on how to track down Echo. I have an Echo issue here uh, on my OFDM carrier. Um, this works for pretty much any of the downstream channels. Um, but I have a, a negative 26 here. And obviously I want to be much lower, like in the negative 40s. Um, I'm actually good on the 17 value. It goes through an equalizer and then down to a 12 value 2 port and then into the speeder under a parking lot to an amplifier. The input of that amplifier is also bad. So I know that it's before the amplifier. So once you narrow it down to where you think you know kind of which set of feeders it is, you can use this procedure to test where it's at. It works about 99% of the time. So you can take a normal plunger, uh, but it has to be hooked to like a meter or device to act as a two-way. And if you plug it in, so I'm gonna plug it in on the input of this and watch how the number changes. It actually gets worse because the plunger itself creates a reflection because it's not a really good connection. So what I'm going to do is pull it out and then plug it into the output side. And watch how my number changes. I actually had a really good improvement. So what that did was create a two-way on the signal reflecting back, going backwards, and it reduced that reflection um, by about three or four decibels because this acts as a two-way. Now the same thing can be done with an eye stop. Pull it out, we still have our negative 26 number. I'm just gonna screw my eye stop in. Um, this doesn't require a meter being plugged into it, nor does it require pushing the button. You simply screw it in and you get an improvement on your number. I'm gonna take it out. And it goes bad. Let me put it back in on my input. And it changes a little bit, but not as much as uh, the other leg. So that's how you can tell which direction your echo is coming from, simply by attenuating it using a makeshift splitter screwing into a seizure screw. Hopefully that helps, guys. Thanks.